making hiking sticks again. This one is for my father-in-law, kind of a cane. He doesn't really need one, but it's kind of good to have around because he works. He still works. He's like 83, 84, and he's still working in his factory. So I don't know, maybe a, this cane can be useful. For this one is the Gandalf staff. That one is for Jeremy. He used mine and liked it on uh, a hike. He made reference to Gandalf. <laughs> Doing. Hope, Hope you're well. Me. We are in Big Snow Mountain Park. Yeah. And we are climbing Long Life Mountain. So I put a little Gandalf quote on there. He can keep that on there if he wants, or he can he can take it off. I put one coat of lacquer over it, and there's tape. To the highest peak, I fought him, the Balrog of Morgoth, until. At last, I threw down my enemy and smote his ruin upon the mountainside. And that one, without the finish, I'm returning to the mountain. That is Long Life Mountain's stick. I got greedy and took it. It was at the base of the mountain. And it looked almost like that, except it had some bark on it. Um, and it was just laying there. My buddies were like, well, that probably was a hiking stick from somebody and they just, they just leave it there. And so I'm gonna return that. I first offered JC's wife the hiking stick and she's like, I don't need one of those. So that one's going back to its origin, to its home. Next time I climb Long Life Mountain. And these three, if you wanna see how I make these, check out the video above. One last blast of the glue right there. These stoppers here are for furniture and they fit perfectly just like mine did. Same with all my father-in-laws. But this one's for James. This one I call Moby Dick. Is that an eyeball or the spout hole? I don't know. Got a quote from Moby Dick on there. Over unsounded gorges through the rifled hearts of mountains under torrents beds unerringly I rush. Not an obstacle, knots an angle to the iron way. That's Ahab, the captain. My wife gave her two cents about these labels that I put on here. She says they're absolutely atrocious. But I'd say imagine if you fall off a, a ravine and you have camouflage on. The rescuer can only see that little tab of fluorescent green. And the bottom, excuse the noise, the bottom is just slightly larger than those two. So I will check all the junk drawers. There's some shoelaces I could use for the handle. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about even like tops of bottles. <laughs> Wouldn't be good on hard surfaces. If I had some kind of old appliance with legs on it. This is, this is for a tripod. Why do we have so many selfie sticks from my old Wii? I'm a little embarrassed to show you all this. <laughs> a lot of junk. 20, over 20 years in Taiwan. I found it. I found it, guys, right here. So I was racking my brain of all that junk I have in the basement of what I can use as the bottom of this thing. It came to me suddenly, I'm gonna use this ball. Well, half of this ball. My father, who uh, we lost in the beginning of this year. He always had a, uh, an interesting sense of humor and always bought me the greatest gifts. And at one point in my life, I was really into golf. So he gets me these, this load of golf balls, probably, you know, 200 golf balls. And in the middle of it, he drops this. And he just thought it would be funny that if I was, you know, out on the range, just to see how this would differ. And this, this is a mega super ball. Like this thing really bounces. He thought it would be funny to see, you know, how far I could hit this. But I just never could bring myself to hitting it because, I mean, once I hit it on the range, I'm never going to get it back, right? So it's, it's almost the exact size of a golf ball, maybe slightly larger. But my plan is, James, stupid traffic. 
to cut this in half, drill a hole down the center, and stick it on the bottom so there'll be some rubberized uh, portion of the bottom of Moby Dick there. I need bifocals. That looks all right, but the problem is when I use this on the ground, I can't countersink this enough to be stable. If I countersink it anymore, it's not gonna really be holding this on. So the screw tip will hit hard floors and it will be just annoying. Um, so I wanna cover this with something else. Back to the drawing board. In retrospect, I think I could have cut off a sliver of the ball and kept the rest of the ball and there would be a flat portion and then I could really countersink a screw and then there would be the hiking stick with like a ball on the end. I don't know if that would have worked out. Couldn't find anything so I broke down and got these. If I make hiking sticks in the future, uh, these will come in handy so it's not like I'm spending too much here. It's good to have these on hand anyway. Uh, we also have a bunch of stools in the, in the school that probably need these things. It looks like a little bit too small, but I have a way, I have a workaround. And that involved playing with fire again. Look what happened to my hiking stick. A stone embedded itself right in that hole. Can't even get it out. I got it out. Garden update, got some nice growth here on the tomatoes. No, they're not grapes. And they're in a small, like eight inch pot. I got tomatoes coming out all over the place. So waiting on those to change to a nice red. We got daikon radish. They're getting fat. And as soon as the caterpillars are done munching on all those leaves, that is the time to pull them up. I used to fret over just using chopsticks and picking off all of the caterpillars or webworms and I don't do that anymore I just let them do their thing and kind of gives me that's the time when I harvest when they're done eating the leaves and in about a month I'm gonna be pulling up carrots and let's head over to the other location it's pretty cold here in Taiwan it's uh I think it's around 12 centigrade but up in the mountains in Taiwan are getting snow right now I got one of these like undershirt type long sleeve shirts for my running I'm just doing a walking warm-up right now and I'll run back waiting on these things to get ripe the tree is coming back oh look we have a little Lavender. These are radishes. Those are carrots. Radishes, radishes. 